Hello, and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi. Hello. And our energy mantra for today is, I heal as I allow myself to be who I am. And off camera, literally with a tissue stuck up my nose, TMI, right? <laughs> because if I do anything but that, my nose won't stop running. Um, I have a few little things I want to say before I dive into the scope. Uh, one, if you follow me, uh, you may want to consider subscribing and even hitting the bell on YouTube. I have been watching my numbers tank on Facebook, not being seen. Um, so if you enjoy my daily posts, if you could do that, that would be wonderful for you and for me. Um, another thing in honor of spring, I am doing a spring fling reading. So half an hour for $44, which is $11 off the usual price for a half an hour, or uh, a couple's reading for $88. So if you'd like that, best way to do that would be to email me. So that being said, let's dig into the astro for today. We have the moon continuing in Scorpio. So Scorpio energy can ultimately bring us into our power, but a lot of times we have to face, we have to face the fears. We have to face where, what we've been holding on to, the, the darkness, the shadow that we've been holding on to. Um, it's actually creating kind of a bit of a wide T-square energy. So you may come up against situations today that have a little friction to them. But when you're facing the friction, uh, or feeling the friction, facing that shadow, facing that fear can help you break through. And I have to show you, uh, this card actually jumped out today. The rebel card, breaking through these old chains and it's hand in hand with this transformation energy. So there's major transformational work. And I think a big part of this transformation and the fight, facing of the fears is around who you are. So we have the sun in Aries at 11 degrees today. And the sun in Aries as well as uh, Saturn, uh, Saturn and Aquarius, they're both beginning to connect a little bit wide still, but into the North Node in Gemini. So we have the Sun sextiling it. So the North Node, that North Star, that pulling into our destiny, it's, well, it's kind of a vice versa thing. It's supporting us in, in this breakthrough. Like, hey, the world can hold you up in this breakthrough but <laughs> us aligning with that true self is also being supported by the north node uh vice versa or wait sorry the north node is also supporting that by being like hey there's a place for you i'm getting confused my brain is getting confused they're supporting each other <laughs> so the north node is like there's work for you there's life for you there's action for you there's places for you as you embrace who you are and it's as you embrace who you are that you feed more into it so it's definitely this like kind of win-win energy and then we have saturn saturn and aquarius again aligning us with our purpose it's at 11 degrees so master level degree that's like hey you're here as an individual on purpose, with purpose, you have your own spectrum of energy that you are here and called to bring forth. So all of these energies are kind of feeding in. Today could feel kind of inspired, but again, with some of those fears behind it. So be be aware of like going there, tending to that wounding that is holding any of those fears that are coming up for you uh, today. Um, Moon in Scorpio is actually making... The majority of the other connections besides the Sun and Saturn connecting, which again is like, who are you? Lining up with the vibration of who you are on that soul level and like being willing to bring it. <laughs> um, but healing, healing goes hand in hand with that. Uh, Moon and Scorpio connecting to Neptune, first part of the day, a square to Jupiter, uh, a trine with Mercury. So between that Neptune and Mercury, Neptune and Mercury are currently in Pisces. So definitely a day of uh, strong intuition. Also, maybe some emotional energies to come up and be processed through the day. That square with Jupiter is feeling very much, again, like the places where we're afraid to hold the vision, you know? And I have 
have the exhaustion card, but the exhaustion card is also a card of like, what do you need to put aside? What are you carrying that's not your own? And I think when it comes to fear, so often, especially in this day of like social media, it's so easy to tap into everybody else's fears and everybody else's traumas and then pick it up and carry it as our own. This is a call for you to be in your own power with this, not picking up everybody else's stuff. And if you do, realizing you can break through it and you can transform it. So keeping that in mind in this energy with that Scorpio moon. Um, moon and Scorpio, speaking of transformation, will also connect to Pluto in the evening before going void, of course. So again, the transformation vibe is strong, but it's going to be looking at some of those things that do feel uncomfortable that's going to ultimately lead to this breakthrough and transformation. Finally, Moon will shift into Sagittarius around 11 p.m. Pacific time. So get ready because here comes some strong fire energy incoming to help us with this creation energy. I realize I got soot out of my thumb lighting my candle. Um, so you can book a reading with me. I have that spring fling sale, $44 for a half hour or $88 for a couples reading or a relationship reading. Email me for either of those. Um, besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.